ladies and gents, this improv story, um, um, it comes to you from the idea given to me, which is a man's voice assistant goes rogue like the story commence. This guy called Craig, there he is, treats himself to a new phone, treats himself to this new type of phone that's just came out. It's not the iPhone, and it's not even an Android phone. It's this new sort of thing that's just came out. Really, really, it's really disrupted the market, as they say. It's no Android, it's just, it's the rain thing. And it's all open source. It's all open source. Except one or two wee things. Just one or two wee things. And people were saying, oh, I'm not sure about this. But it's dirt cheap. It's dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. Honestly, you build up. Fuck it, man. I don't give a fuck if this camera's constantly on filming me having a fucking wank. For that price. I hope you fucking crash your cunt. Hope you fucking crash your cunt and only kill you. Um, I'm not serious about that. I, I wasn't really saying on the stream that I hope a person, a real person, dies. I just mean. I hope, you know, people like that cause fucking death. People like that cause death. And sometimes I wonder to myself if it would be better if so, if they are going to fucking kill somebody, the person they end up day killing accidentally is themselves into like a lamppost or something rather than possibly a whole family. Do you know what I mean? It's a thought experiment. It's a thought experiment based on hearing that. I'm not actually saying somebody should die here in my stream. Um, I this phone, this new phone, it's, it costs like a fucking tenner. It costs like a tenner and it's got all the specs of like the, the best iPhone there is. Right, it's like people are, I don't give a fuck what the catch is. Give me it. So, um, this guy called Craig gets this phone, and his friends and family are saying, "Oh, you didn't get that. We, we didn't get that. It's fine. It's fine." But a tenner, come on, get something that's um, um, reassuringly expensive. You know, it's still art one type of thing. And he's like, um, "No, a tenner, tenner, man, tenner." I don't give a fuck anyway, I don't give a fuck what, what's got going on in it. I, I don't care, I'm mental me. I don't care. I don't care about things like that. Plus I don't wear a helmet. I don't care. Craig goes out with his phone. He tries a few things. He tries his map app, which is kind of like Google Maps. It's fine. He tries uh, his camera and all the rest of it, fine. Tries the online storage or cloud storage as they call it these days for no fucking reason whatsoever. Um, hunky dory, tons of fucking space. Never seems to run out of room. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Fantastic. Fantastic. He accidentally presses a button on the camera thinking it's the, the uh, power button. And it's this, it's this voice. It goes like that. Hello. Just taking a second to get set up here. Be with you in just one moment. He's like, what the fuck was that? Looks at his phone and it's the voice assistant. My name's Biloxi Jones. I'll be your servant for today. Is it Biloxi Jones? That sounds stupid. Fuck this, is it? I've never used one of these things. 
Biloxi Jones, B I L O X. In fact, there's a film called Biloxi Blues, isn't there? Biloxi. Is that how you say it? Biloxi or is it Biloxi or something? Don't know. Biloxi, let's say Biloxi. Uh, what's that? Biloxi. Biloxi end to me an eye. Biloxi. Um, Biloxi Jones. He's like, oh fuck, it's one of these stupid fucking assistant fucking things. I'm not interested. So he just ignores it, right? Carries on walking. Puts it in his pocket and he hears this. Hello. Hello, Biloxi here. It's like, what's that? What's it saying now, man? Pulls it out. And it's like a wee, it's like a wee butler cunt. It's like a wee butler cunt with a fucking... One of these things. You know, with a... The, uh... What do you call it? A bell? Is that a cloche? You call it? Like a kind of bell-looking thing you put in a... In a... It's like Jeeves. Pure rip off a of Jeeves and... Biloxi sounds a bit like that Bixby fucking Samsung one. Like that. He's looking at it and it, and it goes like that. I've got a few suggestions for you today. He's like, what the fuck is this? Press the cloche to find out. He's like that. Craig's like that. Press the what? The cloche. Actually, actually, fucking replies. He doesn't know why he's so surprised because they know what you're saying. But that was, that was mad. That that was mad. What's the what's the what's a cosh claw cloth? The cloth is this under my hands there. Huh? You must have seen in some places there. Huh? So he touches it. And Biloxi Jones goes like that. It makes a gong sound. It goes like poof. It goes I kind of made a sound. Sound by my mouth. Like that. And under it are three scrolls and they unravel like that. And the first one is, um, it says, go for a 10,000 pace walk, huh? Go for a 10,000 pace walk. He's like, and it says, you know, this is how you can open up the, the health app to do all that. It's like, fuck that. Taps on the, the second scroll. Tell someone close to you today to, that you love them. He's like, oh, fuck, what's this fucking motivational fucking crap? He's like, fuck, I'll tap the third one. And it says, place a big bet. Place a big bet? And he's thinking... What does it mean by that? And he's gone through it and he's head, he's like... He's reading it, it says place a big bet. And he's like, where's this made anyway? Here are the options of what it means. It means place a fucking bet actually go out and place a fucking bet this is like they're tied in with some sort of betting fucking company that's not very fucking moral I mean me gambling me deciding to gamble that's no moral or anything like that moral or immoral but for a phone to be tied in with this bloatware that's a fucking betting company it's suggesting you go and place a big fucking bet but it's no suggesting any companies he's like what's this he thinks I know what it is this was made somewhere, one of these places where, like, if you buy furniture or somewhere and you get the instructions through, you know, the, the English, it's kind of broken English or whatever you would call it, you know, like, 
words are you know in different places and you can tell whoever wrote it you know they're, they're sort of chucking they've got they've got a kind of grasp of english but you know the grammar's not quite right he's thinking what this is is basically wherever this was made they don't mean place a big bet they just mean take a big chance that's what they mean it's, it's got lost in translation they mean take a chance, take a gamble, take a bit of gamble, take a bit of risk. That's what they mean. They don't mean take a bet, place a bet. Anyway, Craig goes about his day and he happens to be walking by an arcade. Or the fucking arcade machines in there, or the gamblers, not that, or puggies, as they call it here in Scotland. Well, some people do. And he's like that. <laughs> I'm gonna place a fucking bet, man. Just for a laugh. Just just for a laugh. So he goes in and he goes uh sticks a pound in. Machine gulps it. Two two fucking credits you get these days, fifty pence a credit. Dung, 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 ding, dung, dung, dung. That's it. I'm not pounding. Dung, 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 du, dung, dung, dung. No hoods, no nothing. Fuck that. Oh well. And he's like, but that wasn't a big bet. It said place a big bet. Puts an R pound in, fuck all, an R pound in, gets a hold, nothing. He's like, here, right, fuck this. And he's like, ah, he's not actually giving a fuck about the phone anymore, he's just like, right, fuck this. Goes up to the um, uh, the cashier bit. I uh, he's a uh, uh, change, uh, change that, 20. Sticks 20 in. See when he gets to 15, about 15 quid. And like a fiver left. Nudges. The fucking yawn, what? Eh? Nudges looking. He's looking under the rails like that. Ah. Dun dun. Get dun. Get dun. Get dun. Three sevens. In this game, that's it. That's it. Seventh heaven. This game. Cunts like that. No fucking way, man. Sweet Anita, thank you very much for the raid. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Sweet Anita, and everybody who's uh, tuned in, I'm right in the middle of an improv story right now. Please forgive me if I ignore you. Please forgive me. I'm right in the middle of a story here. But but please witness the quality. Witness the quality. Witness the quality. By the way, please be careful with the nightbot here. Nightbot is set to kind of low um, low tolerance for spamming emotes. I, I do apologise for that. I know how you like to do that. Um, I do apologise for that. Witness the quality. Witness. Then you remember that uh, steel is heavier than feathers guy. This is what happened to him. Anyway, uh, where was I? Where was I with this fucking story? So he sticks, he's got five quid to go. And his, uh, and his credits. Fucking jackpot. You know how much a jackpot in this machine was? 40 fucking quid. He's got £5 left in credits. See, we have about 2 quid left. Fucking jackpot again. 
seen the last credit. <laughs> Fucking jackpot again, man. And then see where the money that comes out. Takes the money out. Puts, chucks another tenner in. Another fucking jackpot, man. This is unbelievable. And see when he's lifting the money out. He takes all the coins out. He walks up to the cashier. And he says, uh, he almost feels like fucking apologising. He's like, I'm going to get fucking banned. I'm going to get banned for this fucking place. Takes it up to the counter. And says, can you change this back into... T-? No, we don't do that. We don't do that. And they don't buy it away, because I used to go in and I used to gamble a wee bit. You know, in the puggies, the, the fruit machines, slot machines, whatever you call them. Um, They don't like, they never change it back. You give them a 20. You give them, you give them two 20s. You give them a fucking, you know, like that. They've got change, they've got change, they've got change. There you go, there you go. See, when you go back up, and you say, can I change this back into a 20? Ah, we've not got any notes. Nah, we're all out of notes. We're all out of notes. Because they don't want to fuck, they don't, they want you sticking that fucking money back in the machines as you walk to the exit. Anyway, goes up, they don't take it. Puts it in his pockets. Trousers almost fucking falling down with the weight. Goes to walk out the fucking door. As he's walking out the door, he hears Faye's phone. Well done, sir. It's Biloxi Jones, his voice assistant. He takes his phone out. What? What? What w- What was that? Biloxi Jones, wee butler, voice assistant. I said, well done, sir. How the fuck did that know? How did that know that he just won? Maybe it's got... Maybe it's got like a kind of mic, kind of recognition thing. It can tell if... No. What? Anyway, he goes around to the post office. Gives them the coins and saying he's twenties and all that. They didn't. They bother. Ah, fuck me, man. Tells his pals about this new phone he's got and what happened. to lot of that's dodgy, by the way. That's dodgy. That's dodgy. Tenner for a phone, man. A tenner for a phone that can do all that or that camera. They've got to be fucking spying on you and all that. That fucking, that's, that knows what you're up to, by the way. No, wouldn't it? That'll be fucking some cunt sitting somewhere, by the way. But why, why would it fucking do that? Why would they do that? I'm only Joe. I don't know, I don't know. Ten hours, good on you, good on you. The next day, Craig wakes up. He's just like, picks up his phone again, has a wee look at it. Presses a button for Biloxi Jones. This is about six in the morning, by the way. He normally gets up about eight to apologise for the... whatever the fuck that is at that police chase. He picks up the phone. Here's a look at it. It's about six in the morning. Normally gets up about eight. Picks up the phone. Presses the button for uh, Biloxi Jones. His voice assistant. Waits for Biloxi. No, no, Biloxi. Frying tonight, no bollocks, eh? It's Biloxi. Eh? B I L O X I. Jones. Looks at the phone. Presses the Biloxi button. Biloxi appears well, on the screen, but he's like this. Biloxi's like this, look. So, Craig taps on him like that. Just goes like that, look. So it actually responded. That's really clever. The voice assistant actually responds when you tap, but it doesn't wake up. That's mad. He actually taps it a few other times, you know, just to try and wake it up because... 
you know, it actually would be good to actually get the voice assistant up, up and running. Disney wake up. And as he, he moves, he accidentally moves the screen and it actually moves Biloxi Jones to the side a wee bit. And there at the side is Biloxi Jones's cloche. Now remember the cloche is, um, you know, when a butler brings you a big kind of platter or plate or something, or, you know, puts a big dish at the table or something, a big fucking mansion, that big bell lifts it up, because that's what it is, it's French for bell, I think, lifts it like that, look, you know, like an Indiana Jones in the, um, the Temple of Doom, wow, voila, kind of comes to going like that, voila, the cloche is sitting at the side of this, uh, um, Biloxi's bed, and under it, Craig can see one of the wee scrolls sticking out. You know, one of the ones that actually gave him the advice to go and place a big bet. It's one of them sticking right out. Craig goes like this. Just as he's about to do it, Biloxi goes, Oh, you wanted me there. And Craig actually goes like this, look. Um, you know, actually hides his horn, like he's been caught fucking, you know, ready to, you know, like being nosy. This is, uh, this is getting fucking mental. This is getting mental here. And he, goes, he actually lies. Craig actually lies and says, I, um, what are my appointments for today? Fucking pointless, stupid thing to say. What appointments? What are my appointments Appointments for today? Because that's what you always hear with these voice assistants. They'll, they'll tell you your appointments. You have any fucking appointments. But he says it anyway. Biloxi Jones goes, You've got a rather empty day today. Lots of free time, sir. But remember, you will be meeting Greg today. Craig's like, Greg? Greg? Who is Greg? Biloxi's just like that. Who is, who is Greg? 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 No Craig, Greg. Who is Greg? There's not any fucking Greg. Bloxy just goes like that. Will that be Arthur? No, who is Greg? Did you say Greg or Craig? Will that be Arthur? This phone's fucked. I mean, only cost a tenner, but fuck it. What are my appointments today? Bloxy goes back to sleep. He's like, this phone's fucked. I was daft to think this actually fucking help me with a bet it's just a coincidence this thing's fucked man fuck it later that day he's in work pops out for a fag new rules in his work kind of just stand outside the fucking front door you got to walk right fucking run the building right out the door right out the fucking building like run the corner it's bad for business Clients are coming in, there's a big fucking cloud of smoke, like fucking tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be, you know, dying a, you know, um, that's a, that's a wee joke for the 90s, um, so he's around the corner, right, he's around the corner, and he's like that, no way, no way, he hears somebody going like that. No way, man. It is not as a... Here. Here, man. No. K. 
krig? No. Krig så jämme. Ja. Krig tons är en and there is fucking Greg. This cunt in you in school, secondary school, has they fucking seen him since? They were like that, man. What? Yeah. And that's Craig. That's Craig. You know how he's not been talking like that in this story? That's what he's, you know, he just, he just he takes him right back. Craig, Craigy boy. Craigy boy, man. Yeah. Do you work in the home? Hi. Ha 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 ha. How'd you get to work in the home? Ha ha ha. I know. Ha ha ha. Yes, man. And then he goes like, here, wait a fucking minute. Craig's like, Greg. Greg, no way. Greg, no fucking way. What, man? Uh, what? It's mad, isn't it? Bumping into each other after all these fucking years, man. No, Greg, 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 Greg. I mean, oh, this is fucking mad. What is it, man? You still got no trips like the old days, man. Yeah, man. We had so fucking laughed, didn't we, man? Me and you, man. How the fucking acid we took, man? Seriously, but yeah. The fucking amount of trips we used to take, man. Yeah. Mind me. Do you mind me? Tell me you've no fucking forgot, man. The amount of fucking trips we used to take, man. And Craig goes like, Greg. Greg, mate. This, right, this is too complicated for me to tell you, right? But see, I bought this fuck. Have you seen, have you heard of these phones? What you talking about? Have I heard Diddy's phones? Oh, Craig, man, you're mental. You've always been mental. It's fucking brilliant to see you, man. Nothing makes sense to me anymore, Craig. Nothing makes sense to me anymore, man. And I'm, in, I'm in all these fucking situations, man. And I'm like, this is all fucking mental. And I just think, see if Craig was here, man. He'd get it, nah, I mean, Craig. You get it, nah, I mean, man. I just think to myself, why should Craig was here, man? And here you are. That's fucking nuts, isn't it, man? You've got it, man. And Craig's saying, well, that's what I'm trying to fucking tell you. This fucking phone that I got, I got this for a fucking tenner, right? I got this for a tenner. Ha <laughs> ha. Here, here, that must have been fucking bump, man. Here, you're looking, yeah, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you looking for anyway? What are you looking for? I'll get you what you want. Greggy boy, man, I'll get you what you want. No, just listen. No, it's just fucking tenner. Tenner in the fucking shops, right? If you've not seen in the news, cunts are saying, you know, it's unbelievable, it's as good as a fucking iPhone, whatever the fuck it is, but it's just a tenner, and people are saying, <laughs> Greg, man, you talk something like that shit, you by the way, man, seriously, <laughs> I sort of always love to be you, Craig, you just go off in one, man, you know what I mean, <laughs> what are you talking about, your phone on the news, not, it's your phone day on the news, man, yeah, <laughs> What have you been up to, man? Here, what have you been fucking up to, man? What do you mean your phone's been on the fucking news, man? What have you been up to, Craig? You're a fucking cunt. You always will be, but you're a fucking... Uh, wait, yeah. You're a fucking dodgy... No, fucking listen, Greg, you fucking daft bastard. Listen. No, this fucking phone. No, my phone. The mate, the brand, the brand. Oh, I get you now, man. <laughs> right, how, what, 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 yeah, Craig, what you doing anyway? How'd you manage to get a job up there, well, man? Yo, can you get me a fucking job? Can you get me a job up there? Well, I just need my fucking fit in the door, man. I just need my fit in the door, that's all, man. You can fucking vouch for this, Craig, man. Tell me I'm alright, man. Me and you go back, man. Vouch for this, man. Come on, Craig, man. I can't believe what I bumped into you, man. I fucking wild into it, man. What are the chances, man? 
Greg, that's what I'm trying to fucking tell you. This phone, the voice assistant, just don't interrupt me, don't interrupt me. The voice assistant, the thing, you know, the, you know, you know how you like the iPhone, you get Siri or Siri, or whatever, I don't even fucking know, you know how you get these fucking, <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter, all you need to know is, this bastard and fucking phone told me that I was going to meet you today. This fucking phone told me I was going to meet <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. Geez, whatever you've been taking, man. <laughs> oh, I know that part of shit, man. But seriously, have you got that, man? Just going to give you a wee bit of something, man. I just need a bit of something to break these fucking weeks up, man. One day fucking turns into a week, turns into a month, man. I'm fucking drowning here, man. I'm fucking drowning in fucking a whole fucking ocean of nothing, man. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing going on, man. I don't know what to do anymore, man. Geez, I wish something just to break up my fucking day, man. Break up my fucking year, man. Geez, something, man. Fuck. Craig. Right, listen, I've got to go. Uh, uh, Greg, sorry, I'm fucking fucking up. I don't know what I'm fucking my head's on, but you called me fucking Craig, hell, man. You all fucking wasted, man. Yeah. You all trying out your fucking box, man. You just called me fucking Craig. My name's Greg. Listen. This phone told me I was got. It says, I said, what are my appointments for the day? And the phone said... Oh, you have an appointment to meet Greg. I don't know any fucking Greg. Hey, Tom, but you fucking know me, man. You know what you are. Is this gun? Yeah, it's fucking me for this girl. Do you know what I mean? I know, I know. I mean, I don't know any other fucking Gregs, and I've not seen you since fucking school. And it fucking knew you. It knew. It knew. It fucking knew. It knew, and it knew. It told me to place a fucking bet. The day, the other day it told me to place a fucking bet, and it place a big fucking bet, and I fucking did. Here, what's that? Here, what's going on there? What's going on there? Hold on. Did you What was that? Did that go black there? Did that go black? Did the screen go black there? Because it went fucking black. It went. It went black in the fucking previous thing. It's fine there. It's fine there. It's fine there. It's fine there. You talking about the screen went fucking black, man. Yeah. Like, listen. It told me to place a big fucking bet and I fucking won, Greg. And then the day it said, oh, I'm going to meet fucking, you, oh, your appointment's fucking Greg. Because of this fucking cunt. Look. And he presses the Biloxi Jones button. He's like, look, here's Biloxi Jones. But well, see, Greg, I'm getting fucking tired of you, mate. Yeah, what's the fucking matter, man? What's the matter of you, mate? It'd be fucking pals, man. Just... Wait, watch. Presses the button, right? Biloxi Jones isn't there. Greg's like that. Right, what my mate would be looking at? There's like, a, there's like a waiter guy, there's like a butler guy, and he's like the voice assistant, and he said place a big bet, and he had this fucking thing that shows, like, you know, it doesn't want to say cloche, you don't know what the fuck it is. But like I kind of, you know, like you serve it up food thing, you know, like, like, like a cloche. Is it a cloche or something? I, a, a cloche. And, um,. How do you fucking used to work as a waiter, man? I worked as a waiter for two weeks, man. I got kicked off it. No, you got caught as fucking puffing. 
got his fucking puffin' man. He's like, yeah, he only got it on you. No, listen. Um, and he revealed these wee scrolls, and I clicked on one of the scrolls, and it said, "Place a big bet, right?" And um, anyway, d- d- look. So he's not here just now, but look, there's one of the fucking look. There's it, because there on the screen is one of the the, the cloche again, and Bullock says near there, right? It's in that, man, you look like you're fucking, you look like you're, 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 like you're fucking twitching a bit, nah, 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 man, what's the matter, what you, what you want, what you want? I want to say, I'm going to, I'm going to look at this just now, I'm going to tap on this right now, I'm going to lift up this fucking cloche and I'm going to look at what the next scroll is, with the Biloxi being there. I don't, yeah, this is fair game, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but it's giving me the creeps, mate, I, I'm not, I'm not meant to be a ring cunt, to talk, to talk about things like that, man. that's what I got told, man, I had to go to speak to some cunt about it, and they said I have to keep away from fucking things like this, man, so I'm off scary. Greg goes away, and Craig's like that. Fuck. Just fuck it, fuck it. He doesn't do it. He goes back into work, gets on with his work, leaves at the end of the day. Fine. He waits at the bus, waits at the bus stop, ready to go home. And he's ready to do that thing, blocks he's still fucking no there. He's ready to lift up the cloche. There's cunts all around though. There's cunts all around like, you know, bus, you know, cunts are like in the bus like that. Nosy. So he's like, he decides to walk to the next bus stop as he's walking. Biloxi keeps walking by like that. Something I can do for you, sir? No. No, thank you. Something I can do for you, sir. Okay. He waits, he keeps walking, keeps walking, keeps walking. Until he picks up the phone, looks at it. Blocks, he's not passed by for quite a while. He's like, fuck it. See, he's been walking for about an hour. And this is like winter, starting to get dark. Starts walking down a few lanes as he's looking at his fucking phone, right? There's the cloche. There's the cloche, right? Goes to, goes to, goes to look at it. Goes to there. Goes to there. Goes to pick it up. Just as about to do that. Some cunt fucking runs by, grabs his fucking phone, battles him out of the head and grabs his fucking suitcase. He's got a stupid wee fucking man bag sort of fucking thing. Runs away, man. He fucking runs after him. Craig runs after him. The cunt chucks his fucking wallet behind. Fucking Craig grabs the wallet. He's in wallet, picks it up. Money's been taken cards are still in it, he's like, fuck man, just keeps it, chases, cunt gets away, man, cunt gets away, but it is, cunt gets away, man, Craig runs back, oh, he's like, fuck here, wait a minute, it's only one way out of this fucking park, only one way out of this fucking park, heads up, goes up the fucking hill, runs there, sees the cunt, runs there, runs down, Runs down. How you? How you? I just want my fucking phone. How you? He tries to bring out some of the kind of, you know, working class background to scare this cunt. How you? Just chuck us my fucking phone if it'll be alright. The guy runs like fuck. Runs like fuck. Craig chases after him. The guy doubles back, man. Guy just fucking stones his grin. 
Craig walks up to me, it's all fucking dark. Walks up to my ear, you. Just give my give my fucking phone, mate. Give my phone. I've got to speak to my fucking. I've got to speak to my fucking daughter. Craig's not got any fucking wins. My daughter's phone numbers on that. My wee Wayne, she's only two, something like that, you know. Can't got the hood up and he's like that. You're not getting your fucking phone. You're not getting your fucking phone, Craig. I'm giving you a chance to get to get help and get my fucking foot in the door, you cunt. And you just fucking laugh at this man. <laughs> you're not getting your fucking phone, man. They tell me how do I fucking get this cunt to help with the fucking puggies, man. How do I get this thing to help you the fucking game, the fucking games, man? What is it? Is it an app that tells you how to win with all the fucking arcade games? What is it you're talking about? It's no, it's the fucking, it's, it's magic or something. Greg, is magic. I know it's fucking magic. I know it's fucking magic. It looks fucking magic. It feels fucking magic in my heart. How do I, is that, what app do I open up? I just want to know how to fucking beat these fucking machines because I've lost some amount of fucking money. Craig goes like that. Give me the fucking phone, Greg. Give me the, nah, nah, that's my fucking phone now. That way I fucking fucking fight like that, I fight like that. Greg takes out a knife and just starts going like that. Fuck it, Craig, man. Greg just starts going like that. Stop and fuck him, man. Because Greg's, Greg's not fucking... Greg's fucking mental, man. He's always been mental. Greg's just not stabbing fuck at Craig, man. You're talking about 40, 50 fucking stabbings, man. 60, 70. 80, man. Gun's fucking... Gun's knackered. He's like that. You know, if you... You know, if you've been doing that for a while, well, imagine you're pumping a bike. Or you're something, you're just sawing something or there's something. See, eventually you're like that. See, he's like, Greg's just like that. Like that. Craig's just... Craig's just been... Reduced... Reduced and reduced. Craig looks like, um, what does he look like? Craig ends up looking like, did you ever get this in primary school? You get paper straws. It's like these kind of straw things. And you start off with like, say, seven of them or eight of them coming out like that. Right? You know, you sort of join them in the middle. And then you sort of fold one or the other, and you fold that or the other, and you fold that or the other, and it ends up making this white paper straw kind of turny thing like that. Almost looks like a spiroscope. Craig looked like one of them, only if it was all covered in like fucking tomato tomato sauce, it just like or, like gaps everywhere. Just just gaps everywhere. He was mere gap than fucking body. Cut to fucking ribbons. He was just sliced up, sliced everywhere. Guess what was under that cloche? And on that scroll, guess. On this scroll, it said, Look at Greg's gonna kill you. For your phone. Oh. The end.